was a success. <laughs> Did you spill? Always. Uh, always. Always spill. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya. Ask you all my questions. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? Hey guys, what's up? Happy Wednesday. It's me and Livy today. Stella is sleeping, and today I am making dinner, a homemade spaghetti recipe, and I'm actually, what are you doing, Liv? I want to stay up here. Can you get off the trash can, please? Okay, so today for dinner, I'm making homemade spaghetti. It's a delicious homemade family recipe from my Grandpa Joe, who is no longer with us here on this earth, and so every time I make it, I think about him and how much I love him. So I'm actually tripling it today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. But first, why am I tripling it? Because I'm taking a meal to a friend who just had a baby, and then my other friend is remodeling her whole kitchen, so they don't really have anywhere to eat. So I invited them over for dinner. So I thought I should make a dessert. I don't usually make desserts, I'm not much of a baker, but I thought I would make a dessert since we have people coming over and I'm taking a meal. So me and Libby are gonna do that right now, and it's a dessert I've never had before. It's a coconut cake that I got from Hal Inez Rolls. If you haven't checked out her cooking channel, she has some awesome, easy recipes, and she's a good friend of mine. I'm gonna try that out right now, and hopefully it looks good, because anything coconut, I am there. Okay, so first I just need to bake the cake. So I'm gonna do the basic instructions on the back of the box, and then I'll show you what I do from there. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? And will you let me down? I know I'm feeling something for ya. So the cake is just in the oven. It's gonna be done in about 25 minutes. And then while it's hot, we're gonna poke holes in it. So this is called a chocolate coconut poke cake. So then we're gonna drizzle coconut cream in those holes, top with Cool Whip, and then coconut on top. I love yeah. coconut, so I'm hoping it'll be good. So, Libby's excited too. So we can get, so we can get in the oven, so we can do it after. Instead, work things out so you don't let me go when I come real close. I don't want to get hurt because I'm not ready to give you my heart yet. Before I'm too invested, I should. <laughs> All right, so this came in a can, this cream of coconut, and I'm just whisking it together to kind of blend it. And then I'm going to pour it right over the cake. Alright, the cake is done. Now it just has to cool at room temperature. Once it's cooled and all the coconut has seeped into the cake, we top it with the Cool Whip and then the cooked coconut on top. So, sounds yummy. Alright, I just woke up Stella from her nap. Say hi, pretty. We are gonna head out the door and actually go grab some Cafe Rio for lunch. They have a tostada salad that I usually get and it comes with a drink. 
if I get lunch during the week, I like to go on Wednesdays to Cafe Rio. Stella, are you excited to go get a quesadilla? Stella wants a small quesadilla. Stella wants quesadilla too? Yeah, so I want a big quesadilla. All right, let's go. gonna lie guys this is just a taste of how the day's going with Libby Stella loved it her first quesadilla ever she ate the whole thing you guys it's a kid's quesadilla but she eats the whole thing good job Stella girl the cake has been cooling at room temperature for about an hour now looking good so we are gonna top it with some caramel and then cool whip and then the coconut on top And that's what just happened. The Cool Whip is on, looks so good. Now I'm gonna toast some coconut and the cake will be done. We're just gonna put it in the fridge. I just toasted some coconut and my whole house smells like coconut, which is my absolute favorite. Check it out. Yummy, and now I'm just gonna pour it over the cake and put it in the fridge. It's time to start making dinner. It's about 3.30, but the spaghetti takes a little while with a lot of chopping and has to simmer for about an hour, so I wanted to get started now so I can make sure I get it to people in time when they want to eat. So, first off, I am doing the ground beef. All right, you guys, I got the ground beef ground. We got three plates of bacon here, and I'm gonna do three onions chopped. Remember, I am tripling this recipe because I'm making it for our family, another family, and another family. All right, we got the onion all chopped up. I just did the celery. I'm about to do the green pepper. We gotta chop up all the bacon into little pieces as well, and then we'll start cooking. It's time to start cooking. I got the onions on the bottom, some celery and green pepper, all chopped and diced. Thanks to my handy dandy chopper. I just got this on Amazon actually. Super convenient. We are getting closer. We've got the bacon. 
We've got the ground beef. We've got all of our chopped veggies just sauteed and simmering here. We're about to add it all together and do seasonings. We've got Worcestershire shosh. <laughs> that is so hard to say. Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, lemon pepper seasoning, and some Italian salad dressing. And then we're gonna add in all of our red sauces. We've got the pasta sauce and then some diced tomatoes, a little bit of olives and tomato sauce. So here we go. The sauce is looking good, simmering. Got all the yummy ingredients in there. We got some water boiling for the noodles. We got these breadsticks we're about to pop in the oven. And I'm gonna make a yummy green salad over here. Alright, house number one, the salad is wrapped up. I already cooked the bread, I forgot to take a picture because I'm trying to hurry and get the meal there by 5.30 and it's 5.34 so I'm just about to head over there and then come back and get the rest for the other family. Spaghetti is looking good. I'm just about to cut some slices of cake and then head on over. Ugh, looks yummy. Okay, here we go to the first house. I got Ty with me. He's gonna hold all the food on a tray. We're only like two streets away, so we're a little bit late, but hopefully it's worth the wait. All right, Ty, can you handle it? Be very careful. We got the cake, the bread, the spaghetti, and the salad. You got it? Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we're taking all this in. Come on, Ty. Don't trip. <laughs> Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. <laughs> There's lots of steps. Work. Are you okay? Yeah. Glad you didn't slam on that camera. Hi. Hi. How sorry. are you? Hi. No, I'm sorry we're late. Oh no. Oh, look at you. That is amazing. No, Hi, I don't know how bad it's gonna taste. Come on, I tell you. Okay, so my mom got talking, so we turned in all the dinner. We, we saw um, her friend's new baby, so now I'm just waiting here next to the car right here. <sighs> Still talking. It's been about five minutes. <sighs> All 
All right, Marcus is headed off to take batch number two. Yeah, I want to eat this. I know. Why do we have to give this away? Well, we've got some for us. Oh, good. So our friends that were going to come over that have their kitchen remodeled um, had a last minute thing come up. So we're actually just going to take the food to them. So off you go. Okay. Have fun. We'll be back in one minute. Okay, so we're taking batch number two. Time for us to enjoy the yummy meal. Closing out the vlog. Typhoon. <laughs> Typharina. No. Tyson. No. Tyler. No. Tycoon. No. Liver. <laughs> Livy. Olivia. No. <laughs> Closing out the vlog. I think vlog. Closing out the vlog. I think dinner was a hit. What do you think? Really good. Ty ate it. It had lots of flavor. Never disappointed with spaghetti. Never? Never disappointed with spaghetti, no. Never? Never. Unless it has stuff you don't like in it. You're right. I put a tiny little half can of olives in it. Marcos picked out every single one. I'm sorry. I crushed those onions on that thing. He picked out every, oh wait, that's your dad. <laughs> yeah, that's not me. I eat onions. Uh, I just took one bite of that chocolate coconut poke. What's it called? Chocolate coconut poke cake, I think is what it calls, from How Inez Rolls. And it was so good. Oh, it was a success. <laughs> success. So it was a success. <laughs> Did you spill? Oh, uh, oh always, God. always spill. <laughs> no, I accidentally <laughs> hit him. Anyway, guys, whoo wait. Have you ever cooked all day long and you're so exhausted you just want to fall asleep? That's how I feel right now. So, one more hour till the kids are all in bed and I'm hitting the sack. Anyway, dinner was a success. The dessert was a success. Actually, Ty, you're the only one that's had dessert. What'd you think? I thought it was watching don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up if you like this video and we'll see you next time remember